So the last consideration is if you have a, a really big athlete versus a relatively small athlete, should they differ their dosing strategy? So as I mentioned previously, um, from a dosing perspective, the traditional method is that you take 20 grams per day for five to seven days. That's gonna load your muscles and then you can go to a maintenance dose. So maintenance dose is typically three to five grams a day, but most people suggest just five grams a day for simplicity and it's kind of an easier number to remember. And that's gonna ensure that your muscles are, maintain that full saturation over time. We also know that you can take a lower amount of creatine, three to five grams per day, it might just, and avoid the loading phase, it might just take a little bit longer to reach full saturation. But you can also have athletes that vary quite drastically in size. And so in that particular instance, I recommend a relative dosing protocol. So we have shown in a variety of, of studies that we've conducted that using 0.1 grams of creatine per kilogram of body mass per day is an effective strategy, not only to enhance muscle performance, but this dosing protocol has also been shown to be effective to enhance bone, uh, bone adaptations as well. So if you have a bigger athlete, um, you can use this relative dosing protocol. So the relative is relative to their body mass. So you take 0.1 grams per kilogram of body weight per day. Um, so if you have a 70 kilogram athlete, you would multiply 0.1 times by 70 and you would ingest seven grams of creatine per day. If you have a 100 kilogram athlete, you would take 0.1 multiplied by 100 and consume 10 grams of creatine per day. So in theory, um, consuming more creatine for a bigger person kind of makes sense. They have more muscle, they have more creatine turnover, and um, they might require a slightly higher amount of creatine than a smaller athlete. So you can try that relative dosing protocol.